Hey, what's happening? How are you doing? Thank you for pressing play on this special bonus episode, which I have started creating these little bonus episodes to go in conjunction with the main episode, which was talking all about how I personally create podcast audio episodes with guest audio, remote audio, and local audio too. But mostly we're talking about how I take guest interviews and make them sound the best I possibly can. But you all know that you're only going to be as good as whatever audio quality is recorded. And you have to take that quality of audio and make it sound amazing, no matter how bad it probably is. But on these little bonus episodes, there's no frills. I'm coming to you straight as it is. I'm not doing any special sound effects, no special music, you know, nothing. It's just straight me giving you whatever I have. Now, today, let's assume that you created one of those um, amazing podcast you know, interview episodes or even a regular episode. And you're kind of thinking like, well, I got this episode all done. Does it sound good enough? Is the sound quality up to par to be pushed out into the world as a awesome, amazing podcast? Because I know we get all excited about making an episode, especially like, like the first episode. That's the one we always seem to have the worst audio quality on. And you're like, well, wouldn't it be nice if there was like a simple, easy tool to like verify whether or not this audio quality is good enough for a podcast or not? Well, now there is. It's Podcast Grader, and I will send a link to it in the show notes of this episode. Go, go at it. Have fun. But basically, the way it works is it's drag and drop your MP3 file directly onto this thing, and it'll give you a grade whether or not your podcast is up to par. Is it good enough? Does it need to be enhanced somewhere? It gives you four different metrics of um, quality, of sound quality for your podcast. They basically grade it on a loudness, which is, it says here, it's like how loud or how soft the sound of your podcast is. If it's too soft, people may have trouble hearing it. And if it's too loud, it might hurt their ears. <laughs> And the second one they have is peak. Now, this is the loudest part of your podcast. If the peaks are too high, it might sound distorted or uncomfortable. But if it's too low, the audio might lack impact. The next one is noise floor. This is a quiet hum you hear when no one is talking. If the noise floor is too high, it can be distracting. But if it's too low, your podcast will sound very clean and clear. So the final element they use here is dynamic range. This is the difference between the loudest and quiet parts of your podcast. If the dynamic range is too big, it can be annoying because listeners will constantly need to adjust their volume. If it's too small, your podcast might sound flat and boring. So based on these four parameters, they will give you a grade. Now, for the most part, every episode that I've dropped into here to just play with this thing has given me a high grade quality, but yet I have not gotten excellent, excellent quality on all four different metrics. It's like three out of four or two out of four. Um, Although I've tried to trick it with like really bad audio, which I think is bad audio and I've dropped it in here and it still has given me a great, awesome score saying podcast has great audio quality. And I'm scratching my head thinking, does it really? (laughs) I don't know. But you can have fun playing with this thing. Use it as a tool to figure out whether or not your podcast is sounding good enough. And for the record here, your podcast is your podcast. You can do it however you want to do it. This is just another tool like anything else to see whether your podcast is good enough. And I do hope that maybe you put some thought and effort into creating amazing podcast audio for your podcast, because if it sounds horrible, people may tune out and we don't want that. We want people to listen to your show. And with all the millions of podcasts that are out there that anybody can choose from, I would say the very first thing they're going to hear when they press play on your show is your audio quality. So make sure your audio quality is good enough. And if you need me to personally check out your podcast and give a little run through and see whether I think your audio quality is good enough, you always can email me at podtasticaudio at gmail.com or you can go to my master website which is 
podtasticaudio.com and you keep on making your amazing podcast and happy podcasting to you.